Okay, we have a circuit here where we're looking at uh, a differential amplifier to measure a DM, the differential gain, and a differential amplifier to measure a CM, the common mode gain. So let's get some simulations done. We'll click simulate. I've already set this up for a transient simulation and we're going to get three waveforms. This is the input signal and it's a very low magnitude. The red signal is the output signal from the differential amplifier and the blue is the output signal from the common mode version of the differential amplifier. Okay, now those aren't the signals that we want but I wanted you to see them plotted. What we really are interested in doing today is to try to calculate um, how to do uh, quick calculations using, uh, using AllCAD. So here we go. This first expression I've got for you, V brackets V in A brackets space V brackets V in B. If I copy that and we go here and we add a trace, we're adding a waveform to the plot. So here we have the green waveform which is V in A and the red waveform V in B. We, should, we can see at the side here it's sat on a DC level somewhere around 770 millivolts and you can see the peak values and, and the uh, trough values. What we're going to do is we're going to calculate them mathematically. Let's go back here and let's find the maximum voltage of V in A. Okay, so let me explain. Max is a keyword, V is a voltage waveform inside AllCAD and V in A is the node. So let's copy that function, go to our probe tool, trace, evaluate measurement, and we'll drop it in here. As you can see, what we have inside this waveform, on this panel we have all the voltages. V in A is one of the nodes of the circuit, and I already knew that, which is what I've prepared in the text editor. Max is one of these measurements, and it's a maximum function find a value. So we can use any of these maximums or, or any of these terms inside here for our calculation as we see fit. If we also go to uh, analog operators we've got all these mathematical functions as well that we can use. Okay so there's a lot there. I've pre-prepared these ones. What's now happened in this green waveform AllCAD has calculated the peak value 776 millivolts. Okay which is up here. What I'm going to go do now is I'm going to add in the minimum value, which is the lower point on that sine wave. Okay, I can click here or I can go back to the menu to add another value. So we've now got the maximum and we've got the minimum. So you could calculate the peak to peak voltage as you see fit. Of course, we can cascade those two, those two statements together with the maths with the subtraction operator from maths and we can click that into our AllCAD system okay and we've now found the input signal is 9.9 .9 millivolts as you can see we've done quite a bit of work there we've found out a great deal of information relatively quickly I'm going to delete a few of these now okay and I'm keeping only the input peak to peak signal and I'm going to go back to my tool here. So, what we're now going to find is what is the DC level on which that sine wave is sat? If we take the maximum minus the minimum and divide by 2, we get the halfway point. If we add back to the minimum, we will get the DC level. So if I plot that as a measurement function, we now can see that that sine wave of 9.9 .9 millivolts is centered on 771 millivolts DC. So this is quite useful plotting and calculating and as you can see I've prepared everything in this little editor tool here. We've got a great deal of information out there from single ended signals. What we're now going to do is we're going to look at differential signals and we're going to extract those again mathematically. So let's have a look. Here let's plot V, V in A, comma V in B. So actually plotting a differential voltage signal, okay? So not measuring this time, we're actually adding a trace, 
So let's see what that looks like. V, V, and A, V, and V. Here we have this sine wave that has been applied to this differential circuit. We can now also take measurements from that, which is quite handy. So let's go back to our tool. Let's find the maximum voltage of that signal. Copy. We now need to enter that here with our value. We've got 9.999 millivolts. Okay, so it's approximately 10, it's almost there to 10 millivolts. Okay, which is our input signal, uh, which we can see on our schematic diagram just up here. V amplitude 10 millivolts. Okay, it's exactly what we wanted. Right, we've now got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, analysis done on our waveform. Let's have a look at what else we can do. I've got a lot of different waveforms for you to see here. Let's look at the output signal from this amplifier. Let's plot that on here. Ooh, uh, add trace. Okay, here we go. The red waveform is our output signal from the amplifier, and our green is the input. As you can see, the green is oscillating, but it's very small compared to the red signal. Let's measure the red signal and let's find out how big that is. Okay, we need the maximum of V, V at diff A, V at diff B. Copy, evaluate measurement, paste, close. We've now found the input peak to peak signal, the output peak to peak signal. We can therefore calculate ADM, the differential gain. But why don't we carry on using AUCAD? Okay. First off, let's find out what the DC level is that the output is biased to. So that's the output A maximum minus the output A minimum divided by 2, the midpoint, plus the minimum value. So let's copy and paste that. And let's find out where the output signal is biased. Okay. 7.33598 volts okay so we've got we, we could control our bias levels here with that calculation and finally let's determine what that gain is ADM copy paste it in okay 97.59 so as you can see just by cascading a few of these functions together we can actually get AUCAD instead of having to use this measurement tool at the top here to measure a waveform where we actually have to move the cursor and, and find the peak value as you can see in the XY column down here. Rather than doing something as simple as that we can actually use the software to find the values which alleviates uh, the sort of inaccuracy in our measurement.